Hello everybody and welcome, my name is Gara Benintendo. Today here on this exciting Yu-Gi-Oh! video, we are going to be going over at my Cyber Dragon Orcus deck profile. So if you guys are excited, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you guys are new, and let's get started with the video. So why Cyber Dragon Orcus? Well, Cyber Dragons are very good at one thing, going second, breaking your opponent's board, OTKing them. What happens when you lose the dice roll and your opponent's playing going second deck or you win the die roll and in game two, your opponent wants you to go first? Well, you throw in like a seven card orchestra engine instead of like seven hand traps and that's what you pretty much do. So starting off with the deck profile, playing the standard Cyber Dragon lineup, so three Cyber OG Cyber Dragon, three Cyber Dragon Core if you're a searcher, three Cyber Dragon Hertz, and then three Cyber Dragon Noxters to help reborn your machines. Um, something you should need to remember with Noxter is the number 2100 defense. So that's pretty cool. And then the one... Veer to wrap up your Cyber Dragon lineup. Noxter is very essential for this deck. Then we're playing the Double Galaxy Soldier for just helping us get extra monsters on board, making an infinity, which is really cool. And that's it for our main lineup of monsters. Moving on to our hand traps, we are playing two no materials because it's super good against Orcus and Salomon Great and Thunder Dragons. And then we're playing two effect veilers to, well, they're lights. And then you can also, effect negation is also really good. And then three copies of infinite impermanence to round up our hand traps. And then the one Jizukiru for um, just kaiju to search off for pear plant. Next, we are playing for moving on to our cyber spells, playing three cyber emergency because searching cards is always a good thing. Two repair plants, one rev system because Noxter kind of acts as a monster reborn, but then you, th you could use this to reborn Noxter and then reborn another card, which is super good. And our fusions, we're playing two overload fusions and one cyber load fusion to help make some of our monsters, which is super, super good. And then other spell, our last three spells playing three machine dupe because this card is just absolutely broken. Like if this resolves, you're, you're winning that game and you got to go with the ultimate machine dupes always. Now moving on to our Orcus, we're playing one nightmare, one heart pourer, one symbol skeleton, and then the one world legacy world wand to help just boost our plays and then for some negates playing one orchestra crescendo and then the orchestrated babble helping out to summon out our extra deck monsters now moving on to our extra deck we are playing the double infinity and double nova guys don't comment on the fact that i don't have first dead secret air infinities i'm working on that um, but double nova double infinity for our cyber dragon plays and then the one Seeger for going on to help with some OTK potential. Then we are playing Double Rampage Dragon. Same thing, help with OTKing and back row removal. Super, super good. Then we're playing the one Fortress Dragon and the double Mega Fleets to help break our opponent's board. And moving on to the Nightmares to help with the Orcus plays, playing one Mermaid and one Phoenix. Really, all, all we're doing is trying to summon out an Infinity and a Dingrisu, so this is really all that we need for that combo. And then for Orcus, the one Ulti Galatea, one Dingrisu to help with our plays, help set up some negates. Pretty, pretty good. And then the one Mech Knight Crusadia Abramax. Now, some of you guys are going to say that why aren't you just playing pure Cyber Dragons? Well, in my testing, this has helped with a lot of the matchups because then your opponent doesn't really know necessarily what you're playing and what you have up your sleeve because they'll th you just 
you win the die roll, you go first. I mean, you win the die roll, you go second, you OTK them. They're going to side for pure cyber dragons. Then you just summon out Ding Greasy and you're pl- all of a sudden you're playing Orcist. It, it's kind of a smoke screen effect without it being a true smoke screen with siding in 15 cards from your extra deck. And that's why I think it's pretty good. So if you guys want to see a combo tutorial for this, um, then make sure to smash the like button, subscribe if you guys are new, and comment down below if you guys want to see how this deck actually works, and then I will make a video for it. That's going to be it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.